first of all we see that what is sublingual root the sublingual root is the root of drug administration in which we place the drug directly under the tongue as you can see in the picture then drug is absorbed directly into the blood through the rich network of blood vessels which is present under the tongue advantages of sublingual root so first is rapid absorption sublingual root of administration allow the drug to bypass the digestive system git and then absorbed quickly and directly into the blood through the highly vascularized tissues which are present under the tongue leading to the faster onset of action as compared to oral route of drug administration avoidance of first pass metabolism administering the drug through sublingual route can avoid first pass metabolism by bypassing the digestive tract and liver leading to the higher bioavailability third convenience and compliance sublingual administration is relatively convenient because they does not require swallowing and making it suitable for patients who have difficulty in swallowing pills or liquids and have improved compliance because of the ease of administration especially for medications that need to be taken frequently or in emergency situations for suitable for unconscious patients sublingual administration can be used in unconscious or uncooperative patients who cannot take medications orally or iv for example nitroglycerin in anginal attacks disadvantages of sublingual route first limited absorption capacity so as we know the sublingual mucosa has limited surface area and has limited capacity for absorption that's why it may restrict the amount of drug that can be administered through the route second drug irritation like some drugs may irritate the tissues under the tongue that may lead to discomfort or irritation at the administration site third taste and palatability sublingual medications may have a bitter or unpleasant taste which may affect some patients and may withdraw the compliance four limited drug options not all drugs are suitable for sublingual administration limiting the range and number of medications that can be administered through this route